Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Terror. I hope everyone is well. We're down to the last three. I don't even know what order we've been going in. I don't think we've gone in any real particular. I don't even know who's left, to be honest with you. <laughs> no clue. And I'm not looking. Aquarius, you're up. Mm. Okay, this reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this last retrograde of 2020. It resonates with you? Cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards and giving them a read. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, or just leave the cards on the table and walk away, that's okay too. If it's not your message, it's not your message. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. So this could be played out at any point during retrograde, if it is your message. Anytime within the next couple of days. And it can play out from the perspective of the cross watcher or the other person on the other side of the equation. Because, you know, most equations take two parts. So, all right. Oh, another quick reminder because I'm compelled to do this for the next couple of readings. This channel is geared toward 18 and older only. It is written in the description of the channel in the about section and um well quite frankly if you're under the age of 18 i don't want to get hate mail from anyone's parents so if you could please click out because there's certain words that come out of my mouth and certain subject topics that might come into discussion that aren't for your ears so let's just not okay come back to me when you're 18 We'll throw down your cards, okay? All right. Aquarius, why are you here? Oh, sorry, not why are you here. Who's coming back to haunt you? Eight of imps, could have been a fire sign. Specifically a Sagittarius, if I'm reading that. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten, that's Sagittarius cards. Okay. communication, fast forward movement. This could have been a situation that you jumped into. Hmm. We'll throw a clarifier on that if the clarifying deck decides that it wants to clarify that. Alright, what happened? Another Sagittarius card pops out. Aquarius, you could well be dealing with Sagittarius. card of patience. It's card of energy flow. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that because I'm not seeing patience or positive energy flow as a reason for something to deteriorate. So, okay. Here and how, okay. This might be making a little bit of sense. The lovers could have been torn between two. Someone could be feeling it a little bit more than the other. Hmm. Okay. There could be secrets between you. I mean, in this particular deck, you, if you look at them, she's... I like this. This is cute. She's kind of like guarding like a paper up against her chest. Like she doesn't want this vampire dude to see it. Okay. So somebody hiding something? Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Why are they coming back? King of Ghosts reversed. Oh, okay. Okay. Huh. That's super weird. All right. Well, let's 
get these put down. We're not going to look at those yet. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get a little clarity on the cards on the table for Aquarius, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for this last retrograde of 2020? Hmm. I'm not going to take 20 cards. No. Give me one card, please. Eight of Wands, Five of Swords on top of the Eight of Imps. Eight of Rods, Eight of Imps, same card. Fast forward movement, quick communication. So this was abrupt. Five of Swords. Hmm. Picking up pieces after the battle. Huh. Changing communication. Possible things happening behind closed doors. Hiding something. Oh, huh, okay. Okay. So why is temperance here for why it all just kind of fell apart? Nine of Pentacles. Independence. Ah, uh, yes. Someone may have had a little bit of an independent streak. That would make sense if it is a Sagittarius you're dealing with, and that's what the cards are trying to say. One more. Queen of Swords reverse. Someone may have had a bad attitude about that little independent streak. Hmm... Work to get done moving. King of Cups. Mm. I'm catching a feeling maybe someone loved a little bit too much, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's upside down down here as to why they're returning. So. Hmm. Why is the lovers here? Eight cups. Queen of rods reversed. Okay. Walking away, lack of forward movement. One more. One more. Page of rods reversed. Two of rods reversed. Caught between two, stuck at the crossroads, not going anywhere, wants to move on, can't go anywhere, possibly dealing with a little, super strange, okay, Hmm. All right. Why is the King of Ghosts reversed here for why they returned the sun? One more. 
Ace of Coins. One more. One more for Aquarius. The star. The healing. The planting the slow growing seed. The connection. Huh. Can I get one more intemperance? Hanged man. That's why it all fell apart. Having to accept the fate of the situation. This was like a secret. This was a huge secret. This is something that happened behind closed doors. I don't know who, I, I think it was their secret. You may have been their little secret. Aquarius. And I think they're coming back because they don't want it to be a secret anymore. One more. One more, thank you. Nine of Swords reversed, an end to the paranoia and the sleepless nights. Huh. Okay. Okay. Aquarius, how do you feel about it? Queen of Bats in the upright. What do you think about it? Ace of Ghosts. What are you going to do about it? Ace of Bats reversed. <laughs> Can I get one on this Queen of Bats, please? Also known as the Queen of Swords. She is the speaker and seeker of truth, and she expects and accepts nothing less. Fair statement, no? No? Five of coins, nine of rods, two, four, six of coins. How do you feel about it? You want a fair and even playing field and you want things to be equal? And <laughs> all, in all honesty, if one last chance is going to happen here, that's just the way it's going to be. Or you're going to be out in the cold again because you're going to use that sword to you're going to use that sword to cut people out. Why is the Ace of Ghosts here? <coughs> Ten of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. More honesty. That's how you feel about it? What do you think about it? What do you think about it? more. I need one more to connect some dots. One more. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so. Either this is going to be honest. 
and truths are going to be spoken and nothing but the truth with all parties involved. Wherever goes the cup. And for some of you, I'm thinking that this is rubbing salt in an old wound. For some of you. Not allowing this painful cycle to just end. Or it drudged up an old painful cycle again. And it tipped over a cup that may have started to fill itself. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, why is the Ace of Bats reversed here for what Aquarius is going to do about it? Did one flip? No. Floor card. There's that page of swords again. Um, Aquarius, I don't see you being too talkative or even striking up a conversation unless part of this conversation is all parties involved being informed of the complete and total truth. That's how I'm seeing this. No more juggling. No more trying to keep it balanced. No more juggling. Just straight up facts and truth. All right. What's your advice? Just the page of swords again. Don't ignore the red flags here. Especially with this coming back around again. Don't ignore any red flags you see and just pass them off as nothing. You really need to listen to your intuition here. Because you've already been around the block once with this person. Now is not the time to shut your intuition off. And you cannot control the actions of other people. You need to keep this in mind. The only thing you can control is your reaction. Wow. This is, wow. Crazy energy right now. <sighs> and sometimes the only way to process a broken heart is to go off on new ventures and doing new things and trusting the universe that you are on the right path. Okay? All right. Sorry, Aquarius. This was like super sketch. I'm not quite sure what just happened on my table. I don't even know if it's going to resonate with anybody. But sometimes 
sometimes I ask the cards to give me something general and it gives me something so specific that it's only going to resonate with one or two people. But apparently somebody needed to hear this. So let me know. Okay. And here later this week, I'm going to be throwing down cards for messages for November and try to get those wrapped up in a nice pretty pink package within the first... I'd say seven to ten days, just to be fair. All right, thanks for coming by. I love you guys. Be blessed. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Stay strong. It's almost over. <laughs> thanks for coming by. I'll catch you next time, Aquarius. Later.